What's going on there, YouTube? <gasps> Been with Twisted 420 has returned. That's right, people. We are back. We are back, and I got some explaining to do. Last week, uh, it's just a rough week. I only got a couple videos up. Friday, I was just about to shoot this video. My wife calls me. Ends up, she was on her way to work and hit a giant fucking hog. Yeah, hit a big old hog. Knocked the crap out of it. And it messed up the car pretty nice. Pretty nice. So right when I was about to go shoot this video, I checked my phone to see what time it was. Good thing I looked, because I was about to come in here and shoot. She had called right as I looked at the phone. But yeah, she's fine. She's fine. Uh, the car's going to get fixed, all that good stuff. The most important thing is she's fine, and it's, it's going to be okay. But yeah, that, there was a lot going on last week, and that was one of them. So there you go. But this week is a new week. Today is a new day. And we have a lovely new mod to show you guys here. Today, we are taking a look at the GTRS V-Boy 200 watt mod, people. That's what we're looking at today. This guy features the Yeehee 500 chip. Now, that's been a while since I was able to even talk about Yeehee because I haven't reviewed any mods that take Yeehee chips. Well, I have some, I guess. But I haven't reviewed any, any badass Yeehee boards in quite some time. So here we go. This is the Yeehee 500 board, right? And it's just like that badass board, that 550 that they had in that nice Yeehee SX G-Class, whatever. Only thing is, there's no Bluetooth, so you can't control the stuff with the app, and there's no joystick. Not a super big deal, not a super big deal. Yeah, this guy, to break it down, this guy is a 5 to 200 watt dual 18650 regulated device that has TIM control, TCR, and all the other good stuff, and it features a very nice, large, colorful screen with wallpapers. Fuck yeah, wallpapers. I like wallpapers, and they include some sick ones on here, some girls and some nice uh, hyper cars and so forth. I'll show you all that when we get to the screen. But um, yeah, this is a nice, very well-built little mod right here, and I've seen it online anywhere from 75 to 120 bucks. Okay, 120 bucks. Um, this is a this is a sexy little specimen right here, people. And another cool thing about this one, it can fit up to a 28 millimeter atomizer. Yeah, up top, spring loaded 510. I am rocking the twisted triple on here, and it's sitting there lovely, no overhang. Let me have a toke real quick. <laughs> putting out like a champion, people. Putting out like a champion. This is a pretty cool looking mod. It's very um. It's very ergonomic. It's got these little rubbery sides that offer a good bit of grip. Now, it looks like I'm jerking somebody off. Damn it. Down at the bottom, you got a uh, little battery flap for your batteries. Everything's labeled to 18650s. Pretty standard stuff. There is one issue with this battery door, but we'll get to it here in a little bit. Um, so, yeah, micro USB port on the side of this thing. You got three buttons down here at the bottom. I'll explain that more in detail here and shortly. And then you got the fire button up top with the mirror finish. It's a pretty good looking mod. It's real nice in the hand, fits a big tank. Inside the box, inside the box, you get a nice little carrying pouch. Very nice, very nice. And you get a nice little cleaning cloth. You can wipe your mod off with, very elegant. And then you get a micro USB charging cable and manuals and stuff, that's it. Now this board that is inside here, this board, it's quite interesting. It could do some stuff. And instead of doing a bunch of just talking about it and cutaways, I'm gonna come around there to the other side and show you uh, what's going on with this screen and menu and interface and all that good stuff. That sound good? Okay, let's take a look at the screen. All right, people, here we are up close with this guy. Look at these little buttons. These buttons look a little janky. I think it'd be cooler if they had that kind of mirror finish that this guy has, but you know, that's what else. But yeah, just a quick look at the mod, show you guys what's going on, all this rubbery goodness for people who like to drop stuff. Okay, so five clicks on. There we go. Now we're cooking, let me, yeah. All right, so that looks good. So here's our screen, right? This is the main default interface. Uh, you got your battery bar up there. You got your voltage, you got your resistance, you got your applied voltage. That's the voltage of your batteries in the bottom left corner, actually. And then you got the time. And up in the right corner, you got memory set. So you can have the memory settings going and all that good stuff. I don't use them because I don't like them. But if I wanted to change wattage, I'd hit this middle button and then go up or down. Tweak it how I like, right? But if you want to adjust everything else, let me show you how to do that. One, two, three, four brings up the clock. That's pretty dope. That's kind of dope, right? But if you do one, two, three, four, five, you get into the menu system yes so you can do a lot of stuff here you can change your font 
I forget which font I had, but we'll go ahead and change that. You only get two options. Um, you can adjust your temp, adjust unit, select coil. You can pick what kind of wire you're using, TCR, uh, compensate temp, standby time, time set. Check out wallpaper settings though. So this is the default, right? You got route 66, that's where you can get your kicks. You got some fucking city, beach, mountain, Oh, that's a McLaren. Oh, that's a Porsche 918. And what is that, Ferrari? Ferrari 458. Then you got some chick. She's all hanging out of the car and shit. Then you got some other chick. She's getting all sexual. It's Asian lady here. And then that's all of them, right? Now, if you did pick one of these cars or something, just say for instance, let's go ahead and pick that Ferrari. We'll go ahead and select it. Now I'll show you a few of the other things here. Yeah, brightness, you can control the brightness that's a plus and okay that's everything now when I back out bam that's what we're looking at that's what it looks like now that we got a wallpaper real big wattage real big everything right pretty dope pretty dope that's in uh pretty much that's it people that, that's it that's uh that's what this screen does and then you just vape on it and shit but uh I think that's everything to show you up close micro USB port batteries all that shit okay let's go ahead and talk about it Okay, people, so yeah, that's the screen and the interface. It's pretty simple. It's not bad. I saw those three buttons initially, and I was like, oh, man, this is going to be a bitch, but it wasn't a bitch. It was pretty cool. So yeah, nice, colorful, bright wallpapers. Good stuff. Good stuff, right? Now, let's go over pros and cons. Let's go over pros and cons. Um, I like the look of this mod. They got different colors and stuff, and really, the only thing that color changes is that little band that goes around the side, so it's not a super big deal. I thought it'd be cool if you had like whole body color change. I don't know. There's just some thoughts. Random ravels here. But it looks pretty good. Very grippy. Nothing here. Nothing wrong there. Everything's good. Nice 510. Can fit a big tank. Plenty of power options. All the temp control options you could want in the world. Everything you could possibly need, people. All the stuff is right here on this guy, okay? Like I said, the only thing missing from the other, other board is Bluetooth and joystick. Other than that, you got a nice little mod right here, right? Now, there is a con. There is a con. Oh, yeah, micro USB. I don't mind it being up top on the side. I think that's a good spot. Seems like a good spot to me. Um, this battery door. Now, I don't know why. This has happened like maybe three or four times. But basically, you send it down, pick it up, you go to vape it, and there's a gap. It doesn't shut like it. It depends on how hard you sit it down. There's a little gap that presents itself. And it was still firing depending on how the gap is, but sometimes it won't fire depending on how big the gap is. But you can just push it back and everything's fine. But when you sit this thing down, there's something up with this door and hinge to where it gaps on you if it gets any kind of any kind of impact. So it's like I said, it's only happened a few times, but it's something worth noting. You guys gotta fix that battery door. That's the only thing that I could take away from this thing. Everything else is great. Beautiful screen, plenty bright. Uh, buttons are clicky enough. Um, fits a big tank, like I said, There's plenty of power, not much to bitch about here. It's a really nice mod. You're getting a lot of features, especially if you like to tech out and get geeky with it with your TCRs and your preset memory, all that memory shit. I hate that. When I go to press some shit, I'm just trying to change wattage. I don't want to jump to like fucking 40 watts back or 30 watts forward. So I turn all the memory shit off. I don't, I don't go for the memory settings, but if you're into that, you can do it. But it's cool that you can turn it off. It's pretty cool. All together. I think the, the V boy. Is a nice mod. GTRS has some other crazy looking shit coming out. There's another company I never really fucking heard of, <laughs> but they're dropping some more shit. I look forward to it. So far, so good. They took a really good board and put it in a really nice body, and it makes nice. Let me have a toke real quick. Dope, diggity diggity dope. But uh, yeah, I'll put links in the description if you people want to go look around, take a gander, all that stuff. Uh, I don't give a crap. But I thought I'd freaking tell you, you know what I mean? And um, man, really, that's it, man. I'm just trying to get back in the swing of things with these reviews. Hopefully, I showed you enough that you needed to know on this thing. If not, it'll be okay. I'll get you next time or some shit. I don't fucking know. It's Monday, bitches. It is Monday, bitches. There was something else I had to tell you guys. Something else that happened to me. I don't remember where it was. Anyway. Um, that's that's the video. So with that being said, ah, thank you for watching. I truly do appreciate it. Remember, it doesn't matter what the fuck you're betting on, as long as you're not on them stinkies. And last but not least, you stay sexy, YouTube. Me and the V-Boy, we're out.
Vaping saves more lives than airbags.